Procrastination. Okay, so stepping away from things like self-sabotage and identity issues and things like that. What we do when we procrastinate, we start yelling at ourselves and we don't want to be doing it. And what happens here is that we fail to explore sort of like the deeper meaning of our procrastination to really find out and learn. You know, as human beings, we are learners. Instead, what we do is we yell at ourselves. And then when we yell at ourselves, we start to feel shitty. And when we yell at ourselves and we start to feel shitty and we're not self-actualizing on top of it, all we want to do is activate the pleasure centers inside our brain. And, and then in essence, procrastination can become this spiral because in order for us to feel better, we want to do those things that we have low impulse control over, those things that we want to be doing instead, having fun or having a glass of wine or go to the beach or whatever it is. And we need to learn about it in a different way. And I recommend that you log this either while you're procrastinating or right before you start procrastinating, that would actually be the best. Or, you know, in the worst case, after you procrastinate it. And, and what in essence is happening is that the brain, instead of going into this direction of doing this one activity, it's going into another direction. Okay, and we tend to focus more on the behavioral aspect to things, the outcome of the behavior, the procrastination, rather than going into the brain coding a bit. Okay, so that thing that you should be doing, right? If you close your eyes for a second and you ask your unconscious mind, your internal knowing, your internal sense, this question, you know, what, what is it that you get out of doing that thing that you should be doing? What is that? If you don't get an answer, and often the answer can come into a knowing, a sense, a picture, that you need to have to put a word to it. If the intuitive answer doesn't come, um, maybe you can logically reason things out. You know, and then with logic and unconscious mind, I may come up with different answers, but it's often unconsciously that determines if we're going to procrastinate or not. Yeah. And the unconscious mind often doesn't communicate in words. It communicates in pictures, senses, feelings, knowings, and then we have to put a word to it. But that thing that we should be doing, what's the positive intent there? Well, you do the exact same explanation for that thing that you, that you are doing instead. What is it that you get out of it? There is a positive intent motivating every behavior. So also that other behavior that you're doing. What's the internal sense, the internal knowing, the intuition, the gut saying there as to what is the positive thing that you get out of it? Otherwise you wouldn't be doing it. If you cannot come up with the unconscious answer, what's the logical answer? You know, and if you think get a sense is that the pleasure centers in our brains, the, the, in short term, it's often things like comfort, peace, love, right? In the long term, we want maybe things like self-actualization or well-being or whatever it is that we need to do that other thing for. But when you map that, well, what's really going on? And, and then you start learning as to what's the theme here? And you need to satisfy all of your positive intents. And, and, and when you figure that out, you can go, okay, what are all of my positive intents with the thing that I should be doing and the thing that I am doing? And how can I integrate both? How can I have both at the same time? Then it becomes much easier to start to set, you know, now that thing that you should be doing as a, as a, as a priority for yourself.